We left the 79th Street Boat Basin with plans to sail through the East River and out the Long Island Sound to Port Jefferson. Despite leaving with favorable tides, we ended up with a slight change of plans. Transiting the East River is an awesome experience. The view of the city from the water is wonderful. The architecture of the buildings and bridges could easily distract even the best captain. But one must keep a close eye on the water as the current kicks up sharply at Hellgate, where eddies form and distractions of passing commercial ships can quickly cause trouble. We have transited the East River in Bear three times now, and we never tire of checking out Roosevelt Island, Rikers Prison Complex, the constant airport traffic overhead, or the other boats navigating these waters. This tug has been coming up on us for a long time. We were a little bit worried it was going to come up right when we were going through Hellgate. Luckily, it did not, but uh, kind of waiting to see what it's going to do. Once we had passed under Frog's Neck Bridge, the last before heading out into the Long Island Sound, we could see that the sound was choppy, full of whitecaps. This is not an inviting sight, especially with plans to continue on to Port Jefferson, which was another 40-ish nautical miles. Get a little snotty here. <laughs> As we were coming into the sound, uh, we realized that the wind was picking up and it was right on our nose pretty much about 12 or 13 and um, the current was going against us too. So it was going to get worse before it was going to get better. So we decided to pop in here and I'm making some lunch, a little risotto with some fried up uh, peppers and we're maybe taking a nap and uh, then reassess. I'm going to pump out. And Jeff is really eager to get a pump out. So um, we are, what did you figure, about 30 miles? A little over 30 miles. A little over 30 miles from Port Jeff. So it's not impossible to go there today still, um, but we'll keep you updated. After a quick lunch and a much needed nap, we checked the engine oil and got back underway. I indulged in a new favorite cookie, the black and white, from Meredith's Bakery. So it was clear at this point that we would not make it to Port Jefferson, and I needed my sugar fix. We're anchored up here in the southeast corner of Oyster Bay, and um, it's just lovely here. There's so many boats in the, the anchorage or, you know, in the mooring field. Um, and there's another mooring field beyond this. Um, as you come into Oyster Bay from Long Island Sound over there, there is a, you know, I guess a, a third mooring field, and that's for the beautiful yacht club that's right there. Um, behind me, the other direction from what I'm looking uh, up the hill is Theodore Roosevelt's house. Um, which is a really neat place to go and stuff. But we're just hanging out here. People are sailing around the harbor, um, getting some dinner ready, playing some cards in the cockpit. Uh, it's, it's sort of nice to be back on Long Island South. Good morning. Uh, it's a 
beautiful morning here in Oyster Bay, and we are just pulling up the anchor, getting ready to head over to Port Jefferson for rice pudding. I'm so excited. I don't think you understand. Pistachio rice pudding is like the best thing in the entire world, and I cannot wait to eat it. Um, it's supposed to have favorable conditions this morning. Um, the flood's going to be going with us for about the first two and a half hours, so we really want to get going. We pulled up the hook the next morning in Oyster Bay on a cloudless morning with favorable conditions but little wind. So we motored most of the 25 miles to Port Jefferson. The sound was glassy calm and we enjoyed watching the fishing vessels work as we passed by. What did you do? What? What'd you do? Oh, I so completely hit my funny bone that I, just, I still can't feel my fingers. Oh my gosh. Once we arrived in port, we anchored near the northeast end of the mooring field, where we have dropped the hook in the past. And then we went to shore for the moment I'd been waiting for many, many months for. I'm very excited. I got a gluten free cannoli filled crate. Return to Seas and Sailing. We leave from Port Jefferson and head over to Essex, Connecticut. It was a beautiful morning sail over, a great time on Long Island Sound. The colors of the sky were just amazing. And we end up getting to experience the best of Essex with the Sea Chanty Night at the Grizz.